haul for you guys. It's just a collective haul. We went to a bunch of different places. So let's just get on with the show. Or let's just do it. <laughs> so um, I had friends here the other weekend and in our area there's like a lot of like cool vintage stores. So um, we did a little bit of vintage shopping. Start with um, probably <laughs> the most exciting I have. <laughs> they had all these really, really cute like brass necklaces. Um, and they're like, it's like a necklace um, with a heart on it um, and they have like really sentimental phrases on it and says um, let's make out and then there are other ones like like what did my friends get like um, there was one that said like nice tits there was no way. One, yeah there was one that said like F off it's just like a bunch of really like silly phrases and it's funny because it's like a cute like sentimental necklace but then you look at it and it says like let's make out I guess that wasn't really vintage it was just like one of their like local items probably. I also got a pair of sunglasses because like I definitely need sunglasses. I, um, but here they yeah, are. They're very nice. Yeah. Mm. How much were they? They were not fifty six. They were thirty eight. Okay. So like decent, and they feel like pretty sturdy. For some pairs that like looked kind of like more unique and cool, but like these, I thought I would actually get some use out of them. One last vintage item. So like. When I say like vintage, I mean it's like more like curated stuff, so it's slightly more expensive than like your typical used um, clothing, but um, it's like really nice curated stuff. But I got this um, gray kind of like crop, cropped sweatery top, and I think it kind of goes along with like the sporty um, trend. So there's that, and that was from the store Citizen Vintage. If you're ever shopping in uh, Montreal, I went to Sephora, and I got a few things. Um, first would be this nail polish by Nails Inc. It's like, I don't even understand, it's like Nails Inc. Nail Kale. It's like, I've never seen these bottles before. But it's called Westbourne Park Road. It's like, a, I don't even know how to explain it. Purplish, beige, pinky, I don't know. Yeah, in the <laughs> bottle I thought it was more like beige, but then when you see it on her nails it looks more purple. Yeah, um, I also got these two clinic products, one is the Pore Refining Solution and the other is the Turnaround Concentrate, um, which is like a radiance renewer, they say. So hopefully these will just make my face look pretty. Got some lip products. The first is, a, well, they're both from NARS. The first would be um, the Audacious Lip, Audacious? Audacious <laughs> Lipsticks. Yes. Um, and it's in Bet. Ooh, that's a nice bottle. Yeah, and it's like, not bottle. It's a magnet. Um, this is the color. It's pretty dark, but it's perfect for fall. And the other one is a lip liner. It's just, I thought it went well with the lipstick. So. Care Care? It's a velvet lip liner. Is that it? Okay, Care Care. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's what I got at Sephora. We went to the store called Eva Bees, and it's more of like a true thrifting store. Like it's not like curated stuff so it's definitely way less expensive um it's packed with tons and tons of stuff so you kind of have to go through a lot um but i got a few good items there okay so one item i got um this was only five dollars but it's like a cropped shirt i guess and it has like some cool like plaid pattern um it kind of reminds me of like something you would buy in top shop right now so i thought that was pretty cool um if i learn how to sew i think i might want to take and the sleeves and like make them a bit more fitted um but it still looks good like this this was only five dollars as well so i went for this and it's like another once again another cropped thing and it's green and like i don't know i just like the color i think green's a good color for me when i do wear color all this stuff by the way like smells like typical like thrifted stuff yeah, which it's like, like dusty a little yeah more. like i used to not like the smell but like now it's kind of like yeah. it's kind of like nice i kind of <laughs> like it and this was a great deal this was one dollar <laughs> and um it's just like a really nice color and like i don't know i would I, I, I could probably pull this off with like a few different things like maybe some like statement shorts or something i've been really really wanting um what i, I guess you would call like a duster jacket like almost like a trench but like more um like loose fitting and like the one feature i really wanted was like that it goes right down to your ankles i found some online like azos has one for um or however you say it for Asos. Asos one for like i think like 130 or something that i wanted so like i didn't really want to like spend that much money so i found this one for 12 dollars okay it's gonna be hard to show um but i it definitely needs some like modifying 
um, cause it's, it's like quite big and like the arms are pretty big too. So I, I'd like to take those in. Um, but like, I, I have a friend that knows how to sew and I have a sewing machine. So like, that's going to be a project, um, can keep you updated on that, but it's like perfect length, like goes right down to my ankles almost. Um, and it's like nice and light and like the material is pretty soft. And yeah, it was only $12. I think that was the loss for Eva bees. I went to Lush and I just got two things. Miserable. I got the butter ball. <laughs> I can't really describe what it smells like, but uh, it is like kind of- Milky? It's yeah, it almost, do you think it like, almost is kind of like almondy or like some kind of like nut milk? It kind and of like flowers, like. Huh? One of those fizzy balls. And then I got this, Dreamtime bar, which this really makes your water soft. It's just like silky water. I can't wait to try it. I've never tried any of these. It almost smells like lavender, right? Do you think yeah, yeah, lavender? yeah. There's yeah. definitely lavender. I got one of their, this is like a Halloween special. Lord, Lord of Misrule. <laughs> yeah. These are limited, like limited to Halloween time, you guys. So go get them. Pretty sure there's something like crazy inside, you know, like when it pops open, it's just like fizzy and Powerful. It smells soap. It smells yeah, like soap. it does smell soap. <laughs> <laughs> I'll include a little fun video. No nudes. So we went to Urban as well, Urban Outfitters. I got, what is this? Um, a headphone splitter. Yeah, that's what it is. Wow. <laughs> it's like a little branch and you could like plug in three people. Pretty cool if you want to like listen to music. I used to have one, but I lost it on a trip somewhere. I got these, these super, High thigh, super high thigh. Um, this is high thigh high. I got these, because usually I get like knee high, but since I'm so tall, it ends up like being calf high. Like, <laughs> So I wanted the super, super high high ones. I also got this shirt from there. It's just like a really loose fitting, kind of like a manly-ish blouse kind of. But it's like a, what kind of fabric? It's just a cotton. Yeah. It's so a cotton fabric, it's lined. Um, I guess it could be worn as a maybe a dress for some short people, but not for me because I'm too tall. We also went to a sale last night back at Urban. So everything that was on sale was 50% off. I bought this shirt there. This was just in the men's section. I think it was for bucks. I got this top for the price of it. Might as well get it. With some nice jeans, could be something. That was twenty dollars, and then I got a pair of Levi's for twenty dollars as well. That both Ricky and I got actually. Yeah, we we just realized when we got home that we picked up the same pants. Yeah, and they're just like this dark washed out denim. We got some really good deals though, because this was like originally 98 and then we got them for $20. Yeah. I got quite a bit of stuff, so I'm gonna try and go through semi quickly. I had a bunch of cool shoes there. I got these um, Jeffrey Campbell flats, my first Jeffrey Campbells, but they're not that exciting. Um, but they're just like rubber flats. Um, they're called the Jelly Love flats. <laughs> um, and I got these for $5. So yeah, that's a bargain. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Like they're not that practical for winter. Um, especially here because like obviously like my foot would get wet in the snow, um, but I mean they were five dollars. Did you get that? Uh, oh yeah, I, I guess I should explain this. I got this um, and it's just it's actually like super super soft um, and it's just like a black crop thing that I figured would like go well with like some of my high waisted jeans. I got this. We were debating if it was like a man's shirt or like a woman's dress and like we're kind of conflicted, but either way like it works for me <laughs> as um, a dress and it's like super soft um yeah it's it's i mean it seems pretty short but if i wear it with opaque tights like i think it'll work as a dress these i was really excited about because i saw these in urban another urban like the other day um and they were regular price but i was like oh my god i really like those like i would almost pay regular price for them even though like usually stuff there is like so overpriced but then luckily i found them in the sales section um, and at first I didn't find my size, so I was kind of sad. They were just like one size too small. But then I went out again, and I found a whole rack of these jeans in every single size, and I found my size. Um, so they're like the, they're like a special line for Urban Outfitters by Unif. And um, they're completely open here, like completely Destroyed. distressed. And yeah, just like, like when I wear them, you see like a big chunk of my leg, but like that's the style, I yeah, guess. Yeah, that's not even like distressed, it's like destroyed. Like, yeah, it's, it's like, like 
fabric. Yeah, it's obviously I can't wear them during winter. Um, and then like you saw from Alex's stuff, I have the same pair of Levi skinny jeans and they're like really tight fitting and like a nice color. And they're super soft. Yeah, they're soft, but they're not like too like, you know, some jeans are so soft that they almost don't feel like real denim. Like these are like yeah, soft, yeah. but still denim-y. I think it's like a nice alternative to like plain black jeans too, because they're like, they're almost, yeah, they're gray, but they're not like light gray. I don't know. I got this like floral one, um, and yeah, just like I figured I could probably pull this off for winter with like tights and like a blazer sweater or something. I got this, which was also like in a really cute white one, but I just knew I would get more use out of the black dress. Um, so it's like kind of like summery and like boho, but I thought it was really cute. And like on the side, there's like um, this tie, so kind of like your side is exposed to it. I think it would also be a cute like bathing suit cover up. I'm gonna need a pair of sweatpants and like these seemed kind of quality, kind of boring, but um, yeah, I got them for like 10 bucks and they were regular 60, so I'm like, Wow, $60 pair of sweatpants. Another dress. I really like because I like things that are black and white. Um, so it's like black and white and it's like this cool like... Crochet. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Like a cool crochet material. And it's like almost like... Um, it's almost like halter in the front but not halter but like kind of similar. And like the back is like cool as well. I got two of these candles. One is currently burning in my room right now though. Um, and I like... I've been so close to buying like really expensive candles lately, but I'm like, no, I don't have the money for that. But I found these for, um, well, I think they were originally $46 each and I got them for 10, um, like 20 and then 50% off of that. So this one is Mandarin Red Currant and it comes in like this nice, like heavy um, vase, I guess. And um, the other one is orange cider and oak, I think. So. It almost feels like a bit more wintry to me. I went by Kiehl's because like this is an essential for me and I was running out and it's just like my favorite moisturizer. Um, it just like works, doesn't break me out. Um, it comes in like a decently big bottle so it lasts a pretty long time. So I got that. And then I had a sample of the toner. Um, so I decided to finally like just go for the toner. Um, and the reason I like this toner is because I've used other toners and like they really irritate my face and make it red as soon as I use them. And this one's like super gentle. I think they even have one that's a bit more gentle. Um, but this one's nice. It's like milky and it still like removes all like the grime. So I got the grime. <laughs> I got those two things at Kiehl's. Um, and yeah, I think that's the end of our shopping experience. Thanks for watching, you guys. Subscribe, like the video if you did, or don't if you didn't. And leave a comment requesting videos or just have like with comments about like a comment. Leave a comment about a comment. What do we want to know from our viewers? Like a question. Yeah. If you like to, if you like, yeah, that's what I was gonna say too. Whoa, we're connected. Oh my god. <laughs> Bye.